like watching hysterectomies on YouTube. <laughs> Stop laughing this. It's not serious. It's serious business changing someone's life. I like laparoscopic hysterectomies because there's a robot that's cool. I feel bad for the surgeon though because they've trained for years and they don't actually touch anything. That's not fair. So, my favorite kind of hysterectomy is a vaginal hysterectomy. Um, the surgeon's there. The surgeon's in there in all the bits. There's a lot of bits. I learned this about myself. I've been studying biology for years and I didn't know how much there was. I didn't know there was room for all of it even. So, there are a lot of, lot of bits. There's like, it's like kibbles and bits. <laughs> and I'm not saying that female genitalia is like dog food at all. They're two different things. <laughs> but if you've ever tried to pour like just a couple ounces for your dog out of a 50 pound, 50 pound bag, and it all just comes out on the floor, it's a lot like that. <laughs> so the surgeon will pull a little bit and pull a little more. A little more, and it just it keeps coming and coming and coming. <laughs> so that's, that's something that I like. Another. Calm <laughs> 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 down. So my favorite part about a vaginal hysterectomy, though, is <laughs> you're very exposed, very exposed, and can be very troubling for a patient if they know what's coming. They're you know they're going to be knocked out, obviously, but if they've heard at all about what it's going to be like, then there's one thing on their mind. The surgeon's going to see my butthole. <laughs> but they considered that. They're like, all right, four years of med school, who knows how many years of residencies. I know what this patient is thinking. I'm going to sew a little bit of like washcloth up to her butt, and I won't see it, and then we can look each other in the eye afterwards. <laughs> Uh, so I studied biology, and that's why I'm interested in this. Um, and I managed to turn my hobby into a job. I don't do DIY hysterectomies. <laughs> I'm not ready for that yet. I've got like three or four more weeks of hard Googling, and I'll do that. Um, but I do science for a job. I'm a molecular scientist at a biotech company. That's very exciting, and people think I know things that I shouldn't. No, or I should know, maybe, I don't know. Uh, that's a thing that we say a lot at work. We say, I don't know. We say, I'm going to wing this. We say, what could go wrong? <laughs> so a lot of my job is just screwing around all day and hoping the janitors will be able to clean it up before the bosses come back. Um, my boyfriend is also a scientist. We work at the same company, and that's really cute. Um, one of the things, well, so, one of the things that you find around a science lab that's kind of uncomfortable when you're working in the same place as your boyfriend is like, so we have weird things in our lab. We have some snake venom, and I think that was just left over from a former employee who was trying to kill his wife with company money. <laughs> kind of a cheapskate, so, uh, and he left it there. Didn't take it with him, that was a mistake. So we also have chlamydia and gonorrhea at our lab. And like, that's kind of weird because like, oh yeah, my boyfriend gave me chlamydia. chlamydia. Not like that though, it was in a bile. It's frozen. <laughs> I don't have chlamydia. I just, I just have chlamydia. <laughs> so things are weird when people who aren't familiar with our company or what we do, they come to visit. Like today we had visitors and we're just sitting there saying, hey, did you get chlamydia? And it's like, oh God, you got chlamydia. These are bankers. They don't know that that's not, a, that's not a joke. They don't know what you're talking about. Um, so yes, I have a boyfriend and that's great. And we've been dating for a while. So we have pet names for each other. It's like, oh, yes, it's so cute. I've never had that before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, he, he's, nice and he's a sweet boy and he likes to snuggle a lot and so I call him snuggle up I guess I'm like oh, I'm so proud Ooh, I'm killing this nickname thing right first try out of the park <laughs> his nickname
nickname for me is a little like cute pet name is Obergruppenfuhrer. <laughs> if you're not a history buff, that was a paramilitary ranking in Germany in the 1930s. <laughs> Just let that sink in. It's calling me a Nazi. Okay. At first, I thought, oh my god, that's so cute, because like he knows I have German ancestors and he thinks I'm in charge. Victoria, uh, good night on Duncan Ear. <laughs>